Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel Admin Panel Development Beginner Tutorial. This is our part number 31. Inside this video session guys, we will start about the add each function with class section. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Laravel Admin Panel Development Tutorial. So basically guys, so far what we have completed, if you go to our administrator panel, now inside this admin panel, what we have done so far with the class section, this is about add section. So we have completed about the add functionality. Also, if you go to our list section, inside this list section, we have listed all the class sections what we have created by the help of that form. And also inside this listing, we have completed our delete operation. So let's do that first. So if I go to add section, let's say that GEF this is the section I'm going to add and click on submit class section has been created successfully if you go to our list sections now inside this list section as we can see that this is the class section that we have added now, I'm going to delete that I don't want to say inside this list if I click on delete button okay now the section has been deleted but what actually we want to change the status suppose this is a branch this is a class section we have created as an active branch so we want to change as inactive so how can we do that we have no option if I click on this edit button it is not working so we right now we have only one option that is if you want to change this branch as inactive we need to delete it first and while creating this again we have to change the status called inactive but this is not a proper way we have to make an edit operation so that we can edit the row data okay so for edit operation if we go to our editor inside web.php this is the route actually we are using to list out data called list sections it is using the controller called class sections controller so if i open up the controller called class section and here is something called class section controller inside class section controller as you have remembered that while making all the listings of data we have made two buttons one for the edit and second one for the delete we have completed about the delete operation so now this time we are going to use called edit button so first of all let's change about this hash symbol with our javascript blank value and this is something javascript void value after that we need to make a class inside this edit and already we did that this is the class so by the help of this class and the data id we are going to edit the data so here we have two options to edit our data this was the first way by using javascript or ajax request by the help of ajax request we will make a call and by the help of that actually we will make a method inside this control and we will update all the data by with the help of that but now we are not going to use ajax we are going to use the direct call means by the help of form submission so inside this anchor tag i'm going to remove this javascript and let's say that we are going to pass a route inside this anchor tag so to pass that first of all we have to create right here so i'm going to create so let's say that if i just copy and paste this add route and let's say that this is all about edit section after this edit section i'm going to pass an id and this is the id actually we are going to pass about the update section means we are going to use this route after this route i'm going to put a id this is the row id by the help of this id we will update our record so it will it will use the same controller and inside this section let's say that edit school section and next we need to change about the named route so this is all about let's say that instead of add let's say edit now next we need to use this route inside our class section controller so inside this anchor tag i'm going to use as you remember i'm going to use the url class inside this url class we have a two method inside this two method i'm going to pass this is the route so if i copy this route go inside controller and i'm going to paste inside this two method only we need to change about this id we need it dynamic 
right now it is only a placeholder so how can we achieve that this is the id we are getting so if i copy this id go here and i'm going to replace with this placeholder by the help of this id so if i'm making some formatting save this file and if i go to administrator panel reload this page and I think that we have some error so if I inspect this element so just press OK and if I inspect reload this page once again if you go to network section click on OK and inside this list section data we have some error and error is something called URL not found so obviously we are using this URL class so we need to import that go at the top and let's say that use URL so if I save this file again go here reload this page and error has gone so close this inspect now if I press any of the edit button before that if I inspect this edit button as we have the URL clause this is our local host this is edit section and this is the dynamic data again if I press for this edit button we have the ID called 3. Let's click that. If I press here, we have that method not found. It's because we have defined the route, but we haven't made our method. So go to editor. And here is the method. So if I copy the method name called edit school class, go to controller. And inside this controller, I'm going to let's say public function. And this is our edit school save this file now inside this method we need to return a view file we are going to open about the section add data so right now we have two options either we can use the same form that we have made for our add for add class section data or we need to make it separate file so i'm going to make a separate file or a separate form for our edit operation so just go up and this is the file for the add, add section I'm going to resources folder inside this views folder I'm going to add a file that file for the edit section so let's say edit section dot play dot php we have two options either we can use the same form and by the help of that same same form we need to actually replace about the method about the form submission method or in the alternative way we can make a different form for our edit operation so I'm going to make a different form so this is our edit section so if I copy this code go at the footer and inside this method let me paste and replace with this edit section inside this file what data we have to put we have to put all the data right here inside this add section so copy and paste because the same form we are going to use only the things we need to change something like here so this is all about admin section and let's say that instead of admin dashboard it should be let's say edit section scroll down this is not this is edit this is also edit go here here we can change the form ID but I'm not going to do that because this is ID only for the form validation and this is validation working fine now inside this form here we have to change about the action means route this is not the save this is our edit submit so you just go to web.php file and I'm going to make a route and this route will be our post method so I'm going to copy and paste this save section and this is let's say that edit section data scroll here let's change about the method so it should be edit save class section and it is using the name parameter and the name parameter we have called edit submit section so copy this red name parameter go here and replace with that only we need to change so if I go here again reload this page and this is about the edit section form so before edit section before submitting this form we want to populate all the data 
previously we have with this ID means we want to populate all the data of this ID first inside this form. So how can we populate all the data back to editor, go to class action controller, inside this controller as we have remembered that we are getting ID inside this URL. So first of all we need to get that ID. So let's say that ID it should be by default it's a null value and inside that we are using a model as you have remembered that class section. So by the help of this model and by the help of this ID we will get all the data from our database table. So let's say that class section and we have a model something called class section. We have a find method. Inside this find method we are getting this ID and by the help of this ID actually we will get all the data from inside this variable. So if I copy this class section and let's say that this is all about the section data and I'm going to pass inside this variable. So if I copy this section, go to our HTML page and inside this HTML page we are going to put the two dynamic values something for our section name and the section status what we have inside our database table. So if you go to database table, now inside this class sections we are saving all the data. So if I press on TBL class actions, inside this class actions, we have two columns called section and status. So on the section data, we want this section. So go here and let's say that inside this text, we have a value called value and inside this value, we have a key, something called section. By the help of this key, let's say section and it this key contains a value called section. So let's say section, save this file, again back to administrator panel, reload this page and we have some error. So if I back to editor, now inside this editor actually we have some error. So if I press control class action and this is pointing about the table and the table we have called TPL class action and this is pointing to TPL student classes. So I think that the correct model we are not pointing this so we have the correct model something called student class so if I press it here this is TBL class section so again I copy this model go at the bottom and I need to replace with this model so if I save this file reload this our administrator panel and the error has gone and this is all about the section name what we have back here if I press to D this is the value we have populated and for the status back to editor now inside this edit section dot blade dot php as we know that inside this section we are getting the section name also if i go here and let's say that if the section parameter contains also the id this id is gives either zero or one value for the status parameter so if it is one or let's say that it, it's already one and if the value we have called selected this is for the active status so if I copy this code go here and let's say that if our ID contains the zero value it means that it is inactive so it if it will be inactive then this method or this option will be selected so save this page go here reload this page so we have called the active status now we have completed all about the form data next we are going to save this updated value suppose this is the section name and we are going to make it as inactive so how can we save this data because right now we are not saving this so back to editor inside this editor we have made a name parameter so obviously we have a method for the saving data so here is the method so copy this method name go to controller and let's say that public function method name inside this method name all the data we are getting inside this request object so let's request by the help of this request object we will get all the data from this form and also one more thing guys that we need to include this form inside a input type hidden fill so let's say input type hidden and we have let's say value inside this value we have called section and section ID by the help of this ID we are going to update our form 
So let's say it should be name. Let's say update ID. So if I copy this key, go here and also go at the top and I'm going to copy and paste all the ad section data. So if I copy this code, this is all about the ad section form data. And also go here and I'm going to paste all the data inside this edit function. All we need to change about that while collecting all these data. Validation is okay. Redirection inside this redirection. First of all, we have to collect this form ID. Means this is update ID. So if I copy this update ID, let's say that update ID, this is coming inside this request object and this will be the key. Copy this update ID. If suppose we have some error, so we need to redirect on the ID section and also with this ID because as we know that the route we are using for the ID section is about ID section forward slash about the update ID. So this is the ID we are getting inside this variable. Let's say that we have no error about the form submission. So after that, we are not going to create a new instance or a new object of this class because we have about our old data. So we need to collect or first we need to collect all the data by the help of this ID. So copy this ID. I'm going to paste it here. So if suppose we are getting all the data inside this section by the help of this ID, only we need to update this data with our updated values. So all we have done now, we have get all the data by the help of this ID, we have updated our keys and finally we need to change our data. So this is class section has been, let's say that updated successfully. This is our session message and also redirection this is about add each section and we are going to redirect with this update id so copy and paste so if i save this file go here reload this page and let's say that i'm going to change this active to inactive submit this data and the section has already been taken this is the error message it's because we have our previous data validation and this validation tells us that we actually not allowed to submit our data with the same class section name because here we have required about the unique rule. So what we have to do with that? So if I just copy all these codes and I'm going to remove this validation section because this is only for the create as for the unique section name. But inside here, we are not going to pass any validation rule because we are not going to any submit any section name. We are going to submit only the status. So this is about all the things. Save this file. And also, I think that we have removed about the update ID. So let's collect first. So update ID, request object, and this is about update ID. So save this file. Go here. Reload this page. And if I submit with all these data what we have, update it successfully. Again, if I change to let's say D to inactive, submit, and the class data has been updated successfully. See, if I go to the stable, reload this page, and this is all about the status that we have updated for this fourth number row. But right now, here is an issue. Issue is that we are not going to actually get the active status because right now as we know that this is inactive so I think that we have a mistake go to HTML page and inside this it is status section the thing we need to change is about the status ID with this ID this is not about the ID this is about the status so if I save this file go here reload this page and also with this front-end section and this is about inactive so here guys we have completed about the edit operation for our class section. If you go to our classes list, class sections list, this is about the active status. We need to change it that. Click on edit and let's say that inactive, submit this here and this is all about inactive. Why not actually change it into some bootstrap classes. With the active and inactive classes go at the editor, class section controller, go here list all data and let's say that if we are getting about the status is inactive let's copy this code pasting it here this would be about status 
and I'm going to remove first of all all these things let's say that if a student section let's say that if a student section has listed status if it is an active it means that we have to return the HTML and something called button this button is called inactive or let's say this is for the active and it contains the bootstrap class is let's say that class btn btn and this is about success and again if I copy or let's say that for the else condition we need to return the same code but this time we have called btn btn danger class and also we need to change about active to inactive so if I remove this return statement from here and also it is turning our raw data so we need to pass inside row columns save this file go here reload this page and we have called inactive here suppose if you want to change this active button click on edit let's say that inactive submit and we have updated that again go to list section this is the inactive what we have made so back to slides so I think that guys I have explained each functionality of edit section with class section data. So if you have any doubt then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching. Have a great day.